so long our noses have suffered the sweet smell of their scented lies but insanity would be to do the same thing over and over and over again and still have the temerity the foolish temerity to expect different results a change would be insane to have forgotten the massacre of Mahatma Gandhi the untimely death of Che Guevara change would be insane to have forgotten the countless attempt on the life of Fidel Castro the letter bomb that killed Dele Giwa or has changed so soon forgotten the tragedy of June 12. See, the status quo would never be satisfied with anyone trying to bring equity to the rest of us. But the good news is this, that the face of change did not change themselves. See, Martin was not the change to change when the little kids who marched on despite the brazen attack of police dogs and police brutality to change, when the teenagers who were ready to fill up the Bamiyam city jails to change, when the aged who marched for three days straight all the way from Muskemri to Selma, Alabama in the post of just in the post of liberty. Neither Stanley nor Churchill was a change the change when the 18 year old boys who were ready to sacrifice their life for the defense of freedom on a motherland that they may never ever see again. Mandela was not the change the change was in the brotherhood of the ANC and the ordinary Nigerian civil servant who gave their token in the assault against apartheid. The change we seek cannot be found on the fragile shoulders of one man. The change we seek cannot be found in the great infested people who bought the entire souls of our pot belly politicians. The change we seek can only be found in the snaggy of souls, in the post of a common goal. And until this purgatory of oppression forges us in rebellious defiance physically, spiritually, and mentally, the change we seek, the freedom we sing, and the future we foresee sadly yet to come. Sailor. This is a Vic Adex concept. Follow us on Instagram at victoradex94.